If you want to know how you can make laser eyes in Roblox Studio, you're going to have to make sure you watch this video all the way to the end to find out exactly how to make this. Hey guys, and welcome back to this brand new tutorial on my YouTube channel, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can make your own laser eyes in Roblox Studio. So how that's going to work, you can click anywhere in the map at random time, it doesn't really matter. And when you click, the game will create laser eyes and put them in your character's head so you get laser eyes. And then damage a player if you hit a player with them. So it's basically a really epic mechanic, it is a really simple script. It's not even, it's not even that long actually, so it's under like 50 lines, it is really simple. And it's an epic mechanic to have in your game. You can just be like some kind of superhero and then just kill players. You're like, yeehaw, and then you click laser eyes and then boom, they're dead. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing in this tutorial. If you're new to the channel, make sure to give it a like if you like it. And if you don't like this video, please give it a dislike. It really helps me out a lot. And make sure to subscribe if you're new. So hit that little subscribe button right there. Yes, please. And then press the notification button if you want to to never miss out on anything i upload and if you want to become a member you can you can do that of course you can do that by clicking the blue join button down below next to the subscribe button so that's everything i have to say so without further ado let's get right into the tutorial so of course we need to set some things up because we can't just do any yeah okay you get my point so what we're going to be doing in workspace you want to create a folder and then you want to name it lasers because we're going to be putting the laser eyes on there then what you want is you want a remote event in replicated storage so we're gonna make a remote event and we're gonna name it handler with a capitalized H then we are going to go to server script service and we're going to insert a script so we're gonna name this server then we're going to create another script inside of that. We're going to disable it over here. And we're going to name this script kill. And then lastly, we are going to add in a string value to this script. And we're going to name this owner. And then you don't have to set the value. We're going to be setting the value on ourselves later on in the tutorial. So just name it owner and then you're good to go. Now, go to uh, your game, you know, over here, like home. And then click on this part icon and then you want to insert a uh, cylinder 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 like that and you want to make it red because laser eyes are red we're gonna give it a neon color so let me just do neon there we go neon and then all you want to do is name this eyes and we're going to put this in server storage right over there and then lastly go to start your player go to start your character scripts insert a local script and name it client. This is everything you have to do to set this uh, video up, like, you know, to set it up. Now we're going to be coding it, so make sure you follow it correctly and enjoy.
So as you may have seen, that was all of the coding for this tutorial. Now we have entered the recap section. So what I'm going to be doing now, I am going to be explaining the what the code does. So first of all, we are starting in the client script. Over here, we are checking for uh, the player service, replicated storage, uh, the player itself, and the mouse of the player. We are creating an empty variable so we can set the position and then send that to uh, the server. When you press left button, so when you like click, you know, like this, click, 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 yep, you get the point. We're going to run it through a PCAL, so when you click up in the air, the game won't crash. Then we're going to be setting the position. We are going to anchor your humanoid root parts so you cannot move whilst you are doing the laser eyes. We are going to be waiting uh, 0 0.25 seconds just so the game can actually get your head position. And we are going to be sending a remote event to the server. Uh, telling it to create the laser eyes and using the position where they clicked. Now in the service script, as you, as you see, a lot of services, uh, we're just waiting for them to exist. When the player joins, we're going to be creating a debounce variable. And what this does is if the player has, uh, so the player cannot like do multiple. So if you like uh, click five times, only one time you will get the laser eyes. Then we are checking for the remote event to be uh, getting a received signal, as you can see on server event. We are using the player, an argument, and a position. If there's no player argument, we're going to do nothing. If the argument is laser eyes, uh, and then we're going to be uh, putting the debounce value, so uh, player.debounce, just so we can get the variable. After that, we will set it to true, so you cannot like spam click again. We are going to make sure you cannot move, just so, just an extra detection. Then we are going to clone the eyes. Yes, this is where the real fun starts. So, we are going to be cloning the eyes, we're going to be putting them in workspace.lasers, and we are going to be naming them i1 and i2. We are going to calculate the magnitude by doing your clicked position minus your start point, and then put dot magnitude. Then we're going to be setting the C frame, and it's a lot of calculations. Big shout out to Lewis Scripts for giving me the calculations because it's really complex. So make sure you have these two brackets over here and a minus over here. So as I said, it's a pretty big calculation. We are just putting this to your head for the laser eyes. We are going to calculate the size of it and all that stuff. And we are going to make sure it is uh, angle, like, you know, so it's not like it's, it's going to go straight. Yeah. Then we're going, to be, we're going to be setting the size, which is um, pretty reasonable. Then we are going to clone the kill script two times because you have two eyes. And we're going to be putting them in I1 and I2. And we're going to be disabling them so that uh, others can get damaged. And as you can see, we are doing player.name because you cannot damage yourself. We're going to put them on the debris service just so after two seconds they're going to be gone and you can do it again. Then... We are going to make sure when you click, the eyes will fade away immediately. So, like, you know, the, the laser eyes. And then, when this is done, when your laser eyes are gone, you can move again. And then, we will make sure you can click again. And then, after that, what we can do then is, over here, we are connecting it to the player. So, when a player joins, we're going to be putting them on the player, which is this little function. It's still really small, but it's still necessary. And then, when the player joins, we're also going to be doing that. One more script to go, which is the kill script. Uh, we are waiting for the player service. When you touch the laser eyes, we are going to detect if you're an actual user, an actual player in the game. After that, we will be giving you the player's variable, and then we are going to, tech, uh, we're going to check if you are not the same as uh, the person who emits the um, laser eyes. And then, uh, for example, if this is player 2 and this is player 5, they're not the same, so player 2 is going to get damaged by 25 HP. That was the recap section. Now let's head over to testing. So let's go into play, like a normal play. We can go in a uh, duo later on. So as you can see, no errors yet. When we click, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna click right over here. So click, and as you can see, boom. And I forgot one thing, and that is you need to anchor them. So make sure you press anchor on the eyes. That is actually a really bad mistake of mine. I didn't really think of that. Don't worry though. Okay, Roblox is really slow. Okay, there we go. So when we click right now, three, two, one, click, and boom! As you can see, laser eyes, they actually go to the center point, you know? So if I click over here, as you can see, the eyes go to one point. So it's basically like, I don't know, it's like a, like a triangle, you know? Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now we got like Illuminati. Just, just saying. 
But as you can see, when we click, boom, we get the laser eyes. We cannot move during it. And when we just jump, boom, as you can see, laser eyes. And then, boom, laser eyes. It is actually really amazing. Even if we do this, boom. It could be a little bit offset, but that's why we added the weight. So when we do this, boom, and as you can see, amazing laser eyes. So, boom, laser eyes, and they're just going to fade away. So let me just test this out in a two-player world, just so you can see that the damage actually works. So as you can see, I'm in a two-player world, so as you can see, I can move, yeehaw. So when I click right over here, and then boom, as you can see, I actually immediately died because the player keeps touching the laser eyes. So even if I jump, as you can see, if I jump and then click, boom, as you can see, we uh, this, this player literally sees it, so boom, and I just died of the laser eyes. And I can do it the other way around, as you can see, this player just died, or this one, I don't know, actually anymore. But when I just do this, boom, laser eyes, they're getting dead. Oh, if you walk through the lasers, you're also going to get damaged, so make sure you know that. So, we can do this, boom, boom, and as you can see, we now got two laser eyes. Oh, yeah, you can just do this. As you can see, we got a little bit of crossfire, so when I click on this player and this player, oh, I actually misclicked. Oh, I didn't. Well, anyway... If I click, as you can see, I cannot damage myself. You see that? So if I do this, I cannot damage myself. I can damage the other player, and then boom. And as you can see, if I just do this, boom. And then, as you can see, I cannot spam click. As you can see, it, that, it doesn't work, which is really amazing. So what I can do now is just kill this player, and boom, they're dead. Well, I can also still kill this player. <laughs> It is actually a really cool mechanic to have in your game, so if you did in fact enjoy this tutorial, make sure to give it a like if you like it. If you don't like it, please give it a dislike. Make sure you subscribe and like the button, uh, like the button, what? Like the video, and make sure you subscribe and do anything you want. And all I can say is that my name is Doobie, and I say, peace out.